You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. Welcome to the Big Dog Post Game Show. Maryland takes down Michigan, 64 to 57. Mason Viner, Bruce Foster, waiting behind the camera. Bruce, what'd you see out there? Well, it, well right before halftime, I told you we had them where we wanted them. There was no way they could have played worse than, than they did in the first half. But Dante Scott, you know, maybe because Jameer was missing shots, everybody else stepped up. And that's what happened. Jameer only got two points, or four points, in the second half. Dante, number five, DHS. Everybody else was deeply involved in the offense. That's what it takes to win. And uh, any way you look at it, it was a necessary and good win. Yeah, I mean, I think we saw what a lot of people expected Maryland to look like the entire season. They only get 64 points. Much better three-point shooting throughout the game, especially in the second half, Bruce. And finally, you saw it, some ball movement, and just the ball went in the basket. No one else, it felt like the real game. In other words, this game was filled. Everybody pick up the fact that Jameer was off tonight, and the ball movement was great. The motion was great. Everybody was involved in the offense rather than staring at Jameer, and they had to because Jameer just was not on on course tonight. He could have had his 20 points, but he just wasn't there. But everybody else got involved. And what do we say about that day's goal? It was a career game. I, I think, I don't remember a game where uh, four for seven from the threes mm -hmm. at 20 points or 22 points. And to me, it was one of his best games ever in a time that Maryland really needed a victory with the three games coming up on this. Yeah, and we'll talk about those three games after these words for the big dog himself, Rick Jackson. Hey, Rick Jackson, who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know, Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklin's Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklin's Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the big dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. seen a Maryland center get a steal and a layup. He's blocking shots and yeah. his free throws. What was the difference? I think the difference is simply playing with confidence. I don't really know what else to say. It seemed like once the ball started going into, in the basket, which we talked about way back uh, in the game before they played South Alabama here, you saw the floor balance get better. Guys started getting to their spot. Just the mere fact that anybody else can make a three-pointer other than Jameer Young, Bruce, we talked about it at halftime, that just it lets everybody do their job. They feel like they're the, that their shot's going to go next. They had to. It mentally, they knew they had to step it up. And look, Wayne, you said it when you walked in here. The Terps had to win today. Yes. You've got Illinois, Northwestern, who can beat anybody at home. And then you come back here to face uh, Michigan State, and we always have trouble with Izzo. So I don't know what's going to happen in those three games, but you had to have it tonight. Right. When you talk about floor balance, and you put Jamie Kaiser as a starter in the second half, I know he didn't score a lot, but he had a guard hit. 
I know the shots are not going to the basket, but they had a guard and they had a guard in 20 plus feet from the basket. Merrill looked a lot better when Michigan had to press out, and then you can cut in and go to the basket. I think that there's been a lot of unnecessary shade thrown at a lot of things that have gone on this season, and I'm not saying that, that there's excuses for the losses and some of the things that this team has done, but I think you saw really what the system is supposed to look like, what Kevin Willard probably thought he had going into the season, and, and it does work. It, yeah, they scored 64 points, but the shots were there when they needed them, and look, no coach is making a team win that's 315th in three-point shooting percentage in the country. You just don't win modern college basketball that way. They need to see what, what it ended up being, eight or nine threes that went tonight. Know. When, when Maryland got to seven of 21 from three, it, it looked like New Year's Eve all wrapped or one. And that was shooting 33% and thought you saw a miracle. Look, Purdue, 88, I mean 72, Nebraska, 88. You saw Rutgers take that. I mean, in other words, the home teams win in the Big Ten, and we're no exception. We lost to Purdue, all right? The number one team in the country. But you know what? I said it, we said it afterwards. It was only because we missed our three every open shot. All right, what's Maryland's record in the past two years at home? Well, they were just in the conference, no, overall. Yeah. Only lost two games. The 25 and two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 25 and two. UCLA and uh, Purdue. So if you want to fire the coach when you're going 25 and two, eh. No, that's not, well, that's no, not, that's not, even, not even on the table. That's, that's not, really not. No, but that's just but, the fan talk, all these yeah. internet. It is. The guy, I actually think the guy can coach. It's going to take some time to, to prove it here. But you know what else? I thought... I thought yeah, 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 Sean yeah, Howard yeah, Smith yeah, is looking yeah, better. He's looking yeah, better. No doubt. He just needs to hit a couple trays. He didn't do it today. He had the wide open ones, but he's driving to the hoop. It was fun. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was Terps top Michigan, 64 to 57. They'll head to Illinois over the weekend. As always, thanks for watching. For Wayne, Bruce, I'm Mason. Good night from Xfinity Center.